guys. Well, welcome to Takeaway Saturday. So today we went Korean. So um, my new work, one of my colleagues um, recommended this restaurant. So we've been, I've been wanting him to taste Korean. So hey, we took Gareth, but yeah, Gareth, Gareth, so Gareth Ray, <laughs> and and so we tried uh, Ongi. Ongi is in Tolkross, a bro Brogan place in in Tolkross, Brogan place. We we'll um, link it all the below. Yeah, down below, and it has been uh, highly recommended. They've got Korean barbecue and stuff, and and Korean food. Uh, Obviously, we can't have Korean barbecue because can't no. sit in and all that. So we went um to the ones that um that is more popular that people can relate to. So we ordered sweet chili Korean fried chicken. Fried so, chicken. So hopefully this is like the proper Korean fried chicken where it's some double fried. Can I just say as well? Recyclable? Yes. I'm liking that. And we have ooh, some bulgogi. Beef bulgogi. Okay. And ooh, right. some um, kimchi pancakes. Pancakes. Which is a starter. Yes. So I think we can just have them all together. Okay, do you want? I'll probably try the kimchi. Yeah, let's try the kimchi first. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's supposed to be um, I would soft. I think it's, it's quite soft. I would imagine if you have a tiny crispier, but you know, at the end of the day, when you're trying things at home, you and have take to, away, yeah. You have to travel them, and so everything gets a little bit soggy. And yeah, that's right. Like, oh yeah, because they they have a three mile um, radius um, yeah. um, how do you call that a limit, so we had to collect them. So here goes. Yeah, let's try Kimchi, this. the drag queen. <laughs> She's been shredded. So for those who don't know, kimchi is um fermented um cabbage, but this is quite oh, it's nice. Oh, it's got a bit of spice in it. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> a bit of spice in it. It is. It's supposed to be spicy. Yummy. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, yeah. I think it's supposed to be crispy though. Maybe. But if you start in, I always think you get a better taste, as I said, because you haven't had to travel the food. Mm. This is tasty. Mm. It is good. It is good. Mm. So we didn't go crazy. We were thinking like, oh, yeah. We're trying to save money on the weekends, which is now I'm going to share something with you, which is something we're thinking about. Instead of going for a takeaway on a Saturday night, we might think it'd be nice if you guys could suggest a country, and we will make that food and try it. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, our our recipe that you guys would like us to. To try or just the um, a, a challenge, challenge a challenge yeah. like to say right try Peru yeah. you know Peruvian make Peruvian food and we'll, yeah we'll try yeah I think that would be good fun yeah and yeah. a bit cheaper <laughs> yeah exactly so since um, I'm trying to uh, um, uh, save money save money um, so this is a good way mm. yeah yeah I like this this is nice mm -mm. I could recommend this. It's like, um, it's a bit like an onion badgie, but without the Indian influence in it. If it if I know that sounds really stupid, but it's, it's got the same kind of texture as an onion badgie. That's it. Yeah. But it's got a nice spice in it and it's, it's definitely got a lovely taste. I don't, I don't know if you can, is, is it layered? No. It's well, we actually did it's mixed in, but yeah. I guess we can see that mm. there. It is yummy. So you eat the batter and then the kimchi inside. So if you want an introduction to kimchi, I think that's actually quite a nice introduction because I think kimchi on its own will probably be quite strong for some people. Whereas the, the batter gives it a bit of sweetness. Yeah, I think, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And um, if you guys haven't uh, tried kimchi, definitely, um, if you can try it on its own, yes, it's actually it has that um, tangy taste to it mm. and spiciness. I See, guess, 
I like pickles, personally. Mm. You don't like pickles or fermented stuff. Well, fermented stuff is very similar. It uh, depends, but I don't like I don't like um, pickle and so, gherkin. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. This no. is the kimchi. <laughs> Okay, it's, the it's just like a cabbage. It's a cabbage. But it's yummy, isn't it? Mm. And I like the spice in it. It's not overpowered in it. It just gives a nice tingle. Mm. Mm. Good choice. Thumbs up. Try this. Chicken! And the chicken does look good. It looks like it's gonna be sticky. I uh, they they have two choices uh, for the fried chicken. It's um sweet chili. Or the sweet soy sauce. Uh, we went for the sweet chili just because. Why not? Why not? Right? So let's try that. It definitely looks sticky. You could see it's um it's firm, so it's it, you know it's double fried. But like we said, it um because of it being stored in the in this mm -hmm. um Ooh. um container. Yeah. So I'll try the wings. Well, it's falling off the bone here. It's not crispy. Well, yeah, because it's um takeaway. But it's good. Mm. That is good. Mm. 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 Yeah, that's really nice. And I was saying the sauce, the sauce is sticky. It's not as sticky as I thought it was going to be, but that's a nice sauce. The sweet chili sauce, it works on there. And mm. I don't know if you can see the how lovely and tender that is inside. It's easily breaking away from the bone. You okay? Mm, sorry. <laughs> um, it's not, it has some of the crispiness there, so... Yeah. It's it's not crispy, it was definitely it double fried, sir. So. Mm. It loses the crispy good when it's steamed in, <laughs> in these packets. It's a shame there's not a way of transferring fried chicken home and keeping it crispy. Yeah, some bits are crispy. Because obviously as well, there's a wet sauce on top of it. Mm. So, mm. Mm. That's, good. that's good. I think we'll try the sweet soy sauce next time. Mm. Yeah, but you can, uh, you probably can't hear it, but there is a crunch there. There is a crunch. So definitely, um, yeah, like I said before, it's definitely um, um, the double fried um, chicken. Is that what they do, the double fried? Yeah, double fried. They would let it uh, wait for a, a wee while before mm. they be fry it. Oh, well, that sauce is lovely. Yeah, so I think that's what they do. So they fry it for initially. And then just let it let it be in in a rack somewhere. And then uh, once the um, guests arrive in their own homes, they fry it. Then and then it's just wow. Mm. And then they coat it with the sauce. I hope you can see that sauce. It's beautiful and glossy and really tasty, isn't it? It's good taste to it. Yeah. The chicken is beautiful and tender. And it's it's. Cooked. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> After the first one, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it wasn't that. It was bloody. I was expecting him to be sick the next day. <laughs> right, I'm gonna wash my hands first. Kind of Because it wasn't actually until after you've eaten it, we saw the plate that we saw it was bloody inside, wasn't it? Yeah. So now we're gonna try the bulgogi. Beef bulgogi, what is it? Normally it's, mar it's marinated um, beef and then they normally. Either pan fried, I think, or normally they would. Um, the rice looks good. Um, how to call this? Um, grill it, I think. Okay, and there's veggies on top. And veggies, yeah. Thank you. So I'm gonna try this. Nice. That looks good. One more veggies. No, no, let's try this first. Right. Okay. Ooh. It's nice al dente veggie. Al dente. Mm -hmm. Let's mm. try that. Mmm. Mmm. No, the beef you just tried. No, um, the, the veggies, but yeah, they're nice and crunchy. It's sweet and that's yeah. yeah. That's nice. Mmm. So, that's really good. Yeah, the beef's lovely and tender. 
try the mm, try the beef. Mm. Yeah, the beef's lovely and tender. Yeah, I think they cook. I I guess they put the the the. I think this is, um pan fried, you know, pan, uh, pancetta or something like that. Right. And afterward they um and then they put the 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 beef there. And then afterwards the the vegetables, I guess. Right. It's a very different rice to what we have as well. It looks like a sushi, the, like the sushi rice. Yeah. Which is, I'm not 100% keen on, but... Because I'm just getting used to rice as much as I'm anyway. But the bulgogi, wow, that is so good. <laughs> Can't drop. Love it. And the, the taste of it though. Mm, yeah, yeah. I tried bul bulgogi before, I remember, it's... Mine is not quite like this, I guess. That I'll try it again. Yeah. No, it was good. Mm. Mm. This is this is nice. I, I would delicious. recommend this actually. Mm. And it's actually there's lots of it. That's a big yeah. Because that was about nine pounds or something. Nine fifty, I think. Yeah. Mm. That and it's full. Mm. The whole lot cost what twenty seven pounds? We say. Mm. It was thirty quid. We ordered online. We order online. And then, um, and then you either deliver or collect. It's ten percent off. Okay. Well, they won't deliver this fast, so we have to pick it up. Mm. Mm. Wow. No, this is good, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh. Good to Thumbs, taste. Yeah. Mm. Thumbs up for these popular dishes mm. that everyone knows. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So yeah. Yeah. Definitely worth a try, isn't it? Mm. Mm. And we'll definitely be going to the restaurant as well. I think that's two restaurants we need to go to now. Yeah. And um, the guys at Beirut also offered yeah, us Beirut. to come yeah. over for dinner to review their place, which is great. We'll do yeah, that. We'll definitely come um, come uh, go back to Ongi and do a proper yeah, yeah. tour uh, so that you guys can see it. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. actually um, interact with the staff as well, yeah. and then and try their food because yeah. um, this is good. It's good, yeah. guys. I would say nine out of ten. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easily, very tasty. I would even... worth the money. Yeah, it's good value. The kimchi uh, pancakes really surprised me. I really yeah. enjoyed them. Everything's got. If you don't like heavy spiced food, this is right for you because it's just a tiny tingle. Yeah, I I could definitely go spicier than this i know that now but if you're just beginning to like a bit of spice this is just right mm. isn't it it's just got a tiny tingle yeah because some people say like you know um uh, korean food it will be spicy spicy mm. I, I think it depends on where they cook it this is actually okay it's more i, I think it's um catered to um to mm. people who don't eat too much um spicy i think i guess you can always ask them it's like you know do it as you normally do mm -hmm. and we would definitely do that so yeah, yeah, definitely um recommend it. Go over there. It's a bit pricey if you um if you look at the menu, I would say, but it's good. It's good value. It's good value. I think you would not uh, be disappointed. Plus, they do Korean barbecue. Yeah, we'll definitely be trying that. Once uh, we're out of lockdown, yeah, we'll go there. Yeah, yeah. So, I would definitely go. give a nine. Don't forget though, if you've got this far, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the ring, hit the, the bell, hit the bell button because that lets you know when we put new product, um, new videos. videos out, and also give it a thumbs up because that really helps us along. And yeah, give us a suggestion down below. Don't forget on what cook uh, food you would like us to cook and try. Have, please try and have a theme for it. Like, you know, if you say in Australia, then go for Australia and maybe oh gosh, that something that you so would like to try. Anything like that, it would really be appreciated. Yeah, that's true. Um, Keep an eye out for our video next Wednesday, which is all about a new it's snack a new, box. Yes, new, new snack box. Exactly. So we'll be trying that, and yeah. Oh, we got this as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lemon sweeties. I think they're lemon, aren't they? Yeah, I guess it's a uh, it's it's really it's any time, and it's a uh, I think it's a Korean candy thing. Yeah, could be lemon. Mm. I'm okay. good for that, guys. Um, we're gonna finish our treat because we're hungry. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Don't next forget, yeah. live your fullest life. Always. Bye. <laughs> this is your Food. Time.